Warden Hall Park in Surrey is the lovely setting for the greatest film garden party ever to be held in Great Britain, and all in the good cause of charity, too. There are over a hundred British and American screen personalities present in this star-spangled show. Charming Anne Crawford, who has provided many excellent performances in British film productions, is one of the early arrivals, soon followed by John Mills, star of the Royal Command film Scott of the Antarctic, here with his wife Mary Haley Bell. Rising young starlet Petula Clark looks happy, whilst around the corner Felix Aylmer with Francis L. Sullivan discuss the art of bringing Shakespeare and Dickens to the screen. Jimmy Hanley signing his autograph causes a laugh when he asks if it'll come back, marked R.D. First of the arrivals from Hollywood is lovely Maureen O'Hara, over here to play the lead in Britannia Muse. Jack Warner is also present, and already settled down is Bill Owen, well known for his cockney roles. Spotting a newcomer, he persuades a friend to move, so that... No wonder, it's Jean Kent, displaying her Victorian hat, which she wears in her film Trotty True. America's ace gag man joins the throng. It's Jack Benny, read the British weather. Here's John Howard Davis, the young boy who rocketed to fame with his portrayal of Oliver Twist. Keeping character, he's asking for more. That's all, he's told. Police, says Oliver in his most appealing manner. And this time, as it's delightful Patricia Rock and not Mr. Bumble, Oliver gets what he wants. Brr, but isn't it cold? Real life husband and wife Googie Withers and John McCallum join the party. And so does screen's tough man Griffith Jones. By now, celebrities from both sides of the Atlantic are gathered in great numbers. Popular Bonner Colino, noted for his American GI roles, and Yorkshire born Eric Portman helped to swell the multitude. Hollywood's Harry Richmond, remembered for his songs in the early talkies, and another old-timer, Sophie Tucker, the one and only Red Hot Mummer, make this garden party a real international affair. Who wonders what's happened to Miss Blandish? Others from the British studios are Guy Middleton, here talking to Mrs. Bonacolino, and screen menace, Herbert Long, who is accompanied by his wife. Something's attracting Christine Norton's attention. What can it be? I might have known a romantic scene. It's Kieran Moore, and our hostess gives him some kiss. But which girl wouldn't? Jeeps take the celebrities about the grounds, and the film fans have the time of their lives seeing their idols in person. All hands on deck. The autograph hunters are out, but the stars submit willingly. These young admirers have seen Jimmy Hanley in holiday camp, and it always rains on Sunday, and now are delighted to collect his signature. Many picture-goers consider the possession of stars' autographs of great importance as a souvenir, and those present today are not disappointed. Closely surrounded by fans is character actress Kathleen Harrison, star of the Hug It family series. She and the other half of the partnership, our old friend versatile Jack Warner, are kept very busy indeed. Patricia Rock and John Howard Davis return from a tour of the grounds. But what's happened to our Johnny? Ah, there he is. Jack Benny seems interested in getting to the other side of the crowd. He must have spotted someone he knows very well. It's Britain's first lady of the screen, Margaret Lockwood, with her cardboard cavalier, Sid Field. The famous trio seem to have lots to talk about. Perhaps Sid is telling of slasher green shoulder pads. Can it be, says Hanan Swaffer? Yes, it is. It's the mouth. 
that great comedian Martha Ray here from the United States. Martha's well equipped to enjoy a huge joke. And Sophie Tucker joins in the fun. The gaiety is as sparkling as the champagne. A great gathering of British and American stars makes this party a unique occasion. Peter Graves just come in, gives Billow in the lowdown on the long and the short of it. The star-studded affair is further enhanced by the appearance of the screen's most popular romantic team, Michael Wilding and Anna Eagle. Slasher Green still at it. The many thousands of eager fans are keen to see their particular favorites. On the stage of fame, a parade of stars is taking place. And while Googie Withers arrives at the stage door, Richard Attenborough, Jimmy Hanley and Norton Wayne are conducting an auction to raise funds for the charity. Dickie Attenborough hands a film fan her prize, lust. But she doesn't forget her change. Jean Simmons, star of Hamlet and Blue Lagoon, answers compare Leslie Mitchell about her film Adam and Evelyn, in which she co-stars with Stuart Granger. Jack Benny follows and very soon entertains the huge crowd telling the funniest of stories in his usual dry and lugubrious manner. And finally, charming Maureen O'Hara makes a great hit for the crowd as she winds up a mammoth film garden party that we shall all long remember. <laughs>